Okay, so I've had a bit of a change of plan today. I had quite a big walk in mind, but the weather isn't going to be that hot. Quite literally. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a chill in the air. It's going to be breezy too. Plus, um, days are getting quite short now, so I wasn't sure if I'd make it back in time um, before dark. I didn't really want to carry the torch with me. So, I might just have to speed up a bit because of the wind. So, I'm heading to Raggedford Royal Nature Reserve, which is actually by No Stonewall. Been there a few times, it's quite nice actually. So I've just been up quite a steep hill, so I might be breathing a bit heavy here. Yeah, so um, that's where we're off to. It's the first day of meteorological winter, so why not? Let's go for a walk and enjoy it. Yeah, the weather's not going to be great. Um, heavy showers are forecast. The wind is going to pick up this afternoon, but not like to the extent of storm. Are we in over the weekend? Nothing like that. But it is going to be coming from the north, and the temperatures forecast to drop. Uh, not massively, but it's you know that wind chill might not necessarily be all that bad. But by that point, hopefully, I'll be heading back, so I'll have a nice tailwind to push me along. Anyway, um, yeah, that's basically it. Let's see how we go. I'd love to claim that uh, this lot were um, in the wild, but this is actually a deer farm. <laughs> so, alas, my wildlife photography, photography skills have not improved. This is just a, a chance encounter walking beside a deer farm. I actually feel sorry for them, because we all know what's going to happen to them. There he goes, look at that, nice red deer, beautiful. Now why can't we get shots like that in the wild? See he's tagged up on his ear there. Beautiful creatures. Well, you never know, let's um... Let's hope we get some on uh... Back in Fordmore. I've seen them there before. But you'd never get as close to them as this uh, in the wild. They'd be off. They'd be off. Probably because they get hunted still. But, uh, well, that certainly wouldn't help. Anyway, I'm going to leave them to it because they're uh, looking a bit, I don't know, disturbed is the wrong word, but look at it. Oh, we definitely don't want to be seeing that. <laughs> okay, uh, on this point, a uh, nice shot of a hedge, and I'm moving on. Well, this is very festive.
Okay, so now we're at um, Vackingford Moor Nature Reserve and um, we'll have a wander around here and see if we see anything. Typical. I've just seen three deer behind that bush. They saw me coming and ran off. That's what gives deer away all the time. It's not, very often it's not you seeing them, it's them seeing you and moving. But yeah, I'm not sure if they're red deer or roe deer, because I said that, that bush is in the way. But yeah, three deer just uh, charged off from there. So that, that was quite nice to see. <laughs> what a shame, yet again. My wildlife photography, photography skills completely and utterly fail me. Let's keep going and see if we have any more luck. So that's the other side of this bush. Um, I just saw the deer. I don't know if you can make it out really, but there's like a hollow in the long grass. Um, so I don't know if they were like sheltering from the wind because it really is sheltered uh, here. You've got the bush protecting you. You've got a row of trees over there as well. So whether they were chilling out there and I've disturbed them unfortunately and they've uh, run off. But anyway, I'm gonna go on a bit further and. Um, I'll sit up and get some lunch somewhere. Okay, just saw a herd of red deer over there. Um, not a big one. About seven deer, but they ran from right to left. They've gone into the um, those bushes there. Let's see if I can pick anything out. difficult because I don't want to disturb them but I want to go down there for something to eat really because <laughs> I know there's a bit of a clear down there so I think I'll just, I'll just keep going oh there you, I can see movement is the cat now hold on hold on hold on there we go I'll keep going, I'll keep my camera out, but I don't want to get near them. I do, I'll sort of zoom up on them. I'm going to try and stop down there somewhere and hopefully I don't spook them too much. Okay, here we go. Okay, I found a nice clearing much closer than I, than I thought, so I'm going to have something to eat here. I've got a good view down there where the deer were, whether they're still there or not, I don't know, but I'm going to sit up here for a bit, have my lunch, and uh, that'll even give the deer time to wander off of their own accord whether that's into my view or not. So I don't, I don't like disturbing them, it's not fair. Um, so yeah, I'll just sit here quietly. I mean, Tom might make my tea and have my couscous, have my apple. Um, yeah, that's going to be about half an hour, so yeah, I'll sit here for a bit see, and uh, see what happens. Can at the ready, bound to fail. So these are eight small ponies and they are sheltering from the wind. Clever. Get a bit nervous when I approach. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you? Hello, mate. There we go. Nothing for you, I'm afraid. Nothing for you. Nothing there either. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. There. 
Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, mate. We had to make you jump. Well, at that point, I'm going to leave him alone. Wait and jump the whole thing. Yeah, the wind's starting to pick up now. I think it's swung around as well. but I've decided just to pick up two mores way and get straight back. Um, if, if I don't have a um, I'll probably run out of daylight and I want to avoid that first thing in the morning, so this is good after um, extend the route more than I have to. Also, the weather has taken a bit of a turn, the wind's certainly picked up and um, had some hail about 20 minutes ago, seems to, seems to have got colder. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead because it's been a good day so far. So I'm going to make a, a beeline straight back along the two miles away. That's my plan. Anyway, uh, here we go. So I'm not sure what they call these cows. I've some down here before, but they're they're kind of short. Perhaps I call them pygmy cows. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I don't think you like that. Sorry, I apologise. Where they are, it's pretty actually pretty muddy or mucky where they are. Because I'm on a walkway here. Um, but yeah, they they can care less. Look at them. I'll leave them to it.
Okay, I'm just about back. Uh, 14 miles today. Not sure vertical feet. Not sure, but uh, that's our look. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 14 miles, and uh, that's been a nice walk. I've enjoyed that. Seen some deer. Had that encounter with the Exmoor ponies. Always nice when they catch. They're not as shy as uh, other wild animals. For example, they're not really wild. I've got owners, but they like roam free. But they don't always necessarily decide to come up to you. So that's always nice when that happens. So that was nice. Uh, weather has been a right mixed bag. Hot, cold, hot, cold. It's gone cold again at the moment. Uh, the weather's sort of stayed off, although it's kind of it's grey all over the well, grey behind me. It's, it's blue over there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but anyway, yeah, it's been a mixed bag of uh, weather, rain, hail, sun. Wind's been the uh, biggest uh, game player. Uh, yeah, but no, great walk, and um, yeah, um, hopefully, um, do something again in a few days. Adios.